on the elbow and you're forgetting about the wrist. If you don't focus on that wrist, I'm going to do this. Where's, where's the arm drag now? He, Dave has to make sure my hand stays where? My shoulder comes forward, my hand goes where? If I can roll my hand out, that's an underhook. It's not an arm drag, okay? So when Dave arm drags me, my hand is stuck. My natural tendency to do what? To resist. I pull back. I, 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 when I pull back. It's almost like I'm pulling them on top of it. Sometimes they sit, like I just sat. It's a natural reflex <coughs> tool, by the way. Some people, like, they see you going to the back, they tend to see you what? But when I square up with you, what am I doing? I'm really sweeping myself. You guys see what's going on? Okay, so that's going to happen. So if that happens, don't feel like, oh, I didn't get to the back. Well, you got to sweep. Normally, that's what happens. Very rarely does he actually stay on his knees and wait for you to get to the back. When I start doing this guy, right about here, right, when I start getting to the back, they start squaring up with me. I just make sure my hand goes where? On the outside. If I keep my hand here, what does he do? He uses that same momentum, and then I'll do it to him. Go. You ever see that right there? Boom. Yeah. You ever see that? Why is that happening? No one's underhooking. What Dave needs to do is what? To stop this fight. Boom. Game over. I'm stuck. Okay? So once you hit the arm drag, the first thing you do is what? Stop the arm drag. It's like a 50-50 in arm drag. I can do it to him, he can do it to me. So the second I hit my arm drag, whoop, underhook, game over. Versus leaving your arm on the inside and getting arm dragged again. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> time on these two because you guys aren't quite getting the sequence. I feel that. Um, so this is why I like reaction, right? Because reaction really forces you to understand the technique versus just going in there and like, oh, the guy's just going to do this. And he's not giving you a realistic reaction. You're not really learning the move. So now Dave's going to give me like a real feel. I'm going to be 50%. I'm not trying to beat me. I'm not trying to win. He's just trying to give me a realistic reaction. No power, no speed. So I want Dave to react exactly how he would react in a fight. No power, no speed. So I should have an edge on him. The purpose is for me to win, but <coughs> to understand his reaction. Does that make sense? All right, so when I'm in here, like, like see, like, look, right now, what do I feel Davey? He's leaning in, right? It might be hard for me to come up. I can start getting like this, underneath him. And then maybe Dave starts sitting back, starts sitting back, maybe. I can switch back the arm drag. Or, if I feel Dave pull back right away, okay? If I feel him pull back right away, I can kick and come up right away. If I feel him pulling back and then lean in, when I, I can go where? I can switch back to my butterfly, okay? So basically, what I want is 50% from Dave, and I can go normal. That's all I want. It could be the double, it could be the, 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 the knee pivot to turtle position, or it could be the butterfly sweep. If you end up somewhere else, that's okay too, okay? But I just want like 50% resistance from Dave, all the way to sweep or to the back. Everyone get that? Sorry. One, two, three. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I was just trying to give you a little reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and leave a comment below. Now, if you want to get more weekly videos right into your YouTube inbox, subscribe to my channel now. And for even more blog articles and videos, you can visit my website, which is davidavalon.com, and you can also learn more about my courses there. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.